Hello, welcome back to my blog, Edis English Literature. I am Ardhendu De. Today, we are going to read Give Battles on Killing a Tree. Give Patel is a modern poet of India, who is a painter, poet, playwright, and a columnist. Now, in his writing, we will find a kind of a picture, a piece of picture that has been drawn and that picture is description of that killing a tree as like that of a ceremonial murdering of a tree. So this particular poem is a environmentalist point of view, a kind of a nature poem that favors the ecological an ecosystem of this environment or, or the poem on environment protection. Notable writings of Gibb Petals can you see in the screen and these are the writings or anthologies that are very popular uh, by Gibb Petal. You can enjoy his colloquial writing or rather it is the, his, the common man speech that we readily speak and the common man speech becomes the very text of his lying. The relationship between man and its nature is a prolonged one and it cannot be diminished by any way by any mean even though it is meant by any civilization or in the name of any growth. Any of the growth that we call it civilization, upgradation, industrialization or so forth is a tumorous growth, malignant growth that cannot be welcomed in our society or being a sober man, being a environmentalist as well as a lover of nature. A poet can utter his words that bluntly criticizes the so-called civilized notions of us who is favoring or who is nurturing that notion of murdering a tree. So it is a sarcastic poem, ironical poem, the way the people are slowly and steadily by the name of civilization, by the name of progress, by the name of industrialization is gradually murdering or throttling down the very birth of a tree. This particular poem is written in free verse and being a free verse, it has a free will of uttering or having that kind of rhythmic pattern which is in flow like that of a river folgo. So we will find in this poem a kind of a flow, a flow of words that readily comes to our mind and which is quite interesting one. Uh, even though it has no such a rhythmical pattern but in inwardly or inwardly it has a flow or it has a rhythmic pattern that is quite the rhythm of ideas, the rhythm of inflows. There are so many of the poems written on human nature relationship. The return of the nature or those romantic poems, the relationship of human being with that of nature. Nature and humanity cannot be departed. If they depart from each other, then there is a loss of human soul or rather a loss of human mirth. Uh, the notion of humanity that we find in the present context in the name of industrialization, in the name of growth or in the name of civilization, we are destroying each and every sect of this environment and making it polluted and uninhabitable. Let's make a point of argument that what is the uh, meaning of this growth. If growth is not sustained, if growth is not sustained with the values of human lives, with the values of nature, with the values of mirth and joy of this natural inflow and ecosystem, what's the utility of this development? So this basic question has been raised in this poem. So reading this poem, you will find philosophical cause, ethical cause. Murdering a tree or rather felling of a tree needs to be as murderous, as heinous, as criminal as that of murdering a man. There is no differences between murdering of a tree and that of murdering of a man. 
So only but inhuman, only but cruel, only but barbaric human civilization or its notion can destroy the tree. Because nature is the very mother of us. So let's concentrate on this poem. It takes much time to kill a tree. Not a simple jab of the knife will do it. A simple jab of the knife will not murder the tree. It can happen in human being. It can happen in animal being. But not in the case of tree. Because trees have a greater possibility or relationship with the earth. A greater lifespan or rather a greater source of life is having within the tree. So a plant or a tree has the greater joy of living rather than murdering him by a simple jab. You have to be a heinous murderer, a crime you have to commit. And if you are not a criminal, you cannot murder a tree. So the sarcastic voice is here. It has grown slowly, consuming the earth, rising out of it, feeding upon its crust, absorbing years of sunlight, air, water, and out of its leprous hide, sprouting leaves. So how and why this tree is everlasting? Why it is hard to murder a tree? It simply states, it simply states that slow by slow, it has consumed mother earth for its life, for its living. And out of its sprouting of the leaves and out of the crust, the very hard soil, it has penetrated its root and gradually consumed the very life, the very mart of life, the very sustenance of life. And absorbing air of sunlight, air and water, all these physical elements of this earth, he has consumed the sunlight, the air, the water, and out of its leopardous hide, sprouting life, sprouting leaves. And in the bark of the trees, you will find some patches. These are like that of a patches of leprosy patient. Out of these patches, the contrast is there, if there is a leprosy present, there is a loss of organ. But when there is a patch of or patchy color in the tree, out of that patch there sprouts new leaves. That is the very opposite of human condition. The lives of trees are more matured, more sustained and more oriented. It cannot be snatched away so readily, so brutally. So violently, because the relationship between tree and that of the mother nature is deep rooted, and the relationship it with the soul, with the sustenance. If such is the case, how can you murder a tree? How can you fail a tree? The first jab. Is it not a simple task to murder a tree or failing up a tree? You need to be a professional murderer to commit that crime, to murder that tree, to hack and chop. But these won't do it. Only hacking, only chopping again and again will not oh. accomplish the murder. Not so much pain will do it. You will be rather in pain to murder a tree to inflict a pain in the tree because you will be tired, you will be exhausted, you will find if you jab, if you hack the very bow of the tree, the bleeding bark will heal, the bark that is instantly showing some bleeding as like that of a human body, as like that of an animal being. There is some watery juices coming out as if the blood is oozing 
from that bark of the tree or the cut wound of the tree. But it will not be as poisonous. It will not turn into poisonous. It will not turn into his death. Rather, it will again heal up and make up his wound and survive. So is the murdering of a tree so simple one? Not a simple one. It's a difficult task. How difficult is cutting of a tree or murdering of a tree? Is difficult, you will be tired and you will find yourself a professional murderer instead of a simple one. So, just before going to murder a tree or just going to cut a tree or fell a tree, you had to turn your human soul into a criminal one into a barbaric one because the unplugging the child from its mother sucking milk is quite difficult or rather barbaric and beyond the notion of humanity. The relationship between tree and that of mother earth is like that of a child and the mother. And from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs, miniature boughs, which if unchecked will expand again to form our size. So I was just telling you that murdering a tree is difficult. If you cut the bark of it or bough of it, it will heal up its wound. And after healing, new leaves will sprout. New green twigs will be there. Miniature boughs will be there. And you have to uncheck it. You have to cut them, those miniature boughs. If you don't cut those miniature boughs, it will take the former size. Then the emphatic no. Even cutting of that miniature boughs will not be suffice to accomplish the very murder of the tree. No, the root is to be pulled out, out of the anchoring earth. It is to be roped, tied and pulled out, snapped out or pulled out entirely and the strength of the tree exposed. The source, white, weight, the most sensitive, hidden for years inside the earth. How to accomplish the murder of a tree? You have to uproot that plant, uproot that tree. And while uprooting, you will find that root is so deep rooted into the soil, into the earth. And the relationship between the earth and that of the tree is so deep, so carnal, so human, so sensitive that you will be healthier one or commissioning this murder will find that the anchored, the very root and its boughs have anchored the soil like that of a child clinging to his mother's boughs, mother's arms and mother is also holding her child in a passionate bond such is the bond is here will be a failure while unplugging all this all these roots cannot be unplugged, cannot be uprooted so easily. You have to tie them up, you have to rope them up, now you have to pull them up with the machine and such machineries. After doing that, you will find the very root of this difficulty. You will find that very origin where from the tree was sucking the very milk from Mother Earth, the kernel the very tip of the root and it is hidden deep inside so it quite remembers lady macbeth's brutality in macbeth there lady macbeth says if i promise to do so i am quite ready to unplug child from my best milk and commission on the murder how brutal a mother is lady macbeth while uttering those words and how brutal you should be while murdering a tree 
while you look at that the tree is such deep rooted into the soil of earth and sucking the milk of mother earth so the parallel is quite evident now in the in lines it again sarcastically or ironically it states even you uprooted that tree that will not commission the final say that the tree is murdered or the tree is dead then the matter of scratching and choking in sun and air browning hardening twisting withering and then it is done even that root has the capability of again coming to life how you will put the death nail of that tree you have to make all the possible ways of commissioning its murder how by scratching by drying it up by choking by again drying up by the sunlight and extracting the very juice out of it and in that way you can have the help from sun the air then you can browning it hardening it twisting it withering it all the possible ways of making it lifeless you have to deform all those boughs all those roots and after doing so you will find yourself victorious being a murderer being a commissioner of murderer of this environment a murderer of tree so this is the plant criticism a sarcastic and ironical tone give petal illustrates the points of his argument that this environment has the full joy if there is trees so the protection of trees is the very basics of our survival and he just says as the banner says in the little children's handout environmentalist placard save a tree save a life but save a tree not save a life rather many lives and to commission a murder or to murdering a tree you need to be a brutal one a barbaric one even the primitive race knew that they need the trees said so they loved it in many of the worlds our culture is parallelly embedded with that of loving of trees and the culture of trees but now in the name of civilization we are destroying them and this poem can be taken as a protest from the poet's point of view and we all agree with the terms and words he says so i think you have gone through all this poem and got the meaning if there is any difficulty in understanding you can pop up here and ask me question i will try my best to give you an answer so like share and comment and obviously subscribe bye bye thank you